Hey, what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you a follow-up tutorial. I was sitting here uh, going through my ink title tutorials, thinking of some cool stuff that we could do. Why not something like this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a little messy and uh, have a drop of ink or whatever that could be and uh, get into a splot. So uh, go ahead and grab those ink spots that you made or if you didn't make them, check out the uh, ink tutorial and learn how to make these cool ink splots that we're gonna be using today. So we're gonna go up to composition, do new composition, B1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second and duration four seconds, we'll say okay. And from there, we're going to go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we're going to create a gray solid. Let's change this a little bit. And let's go ahead and rename this right now. We're going to call it Floor. This is going to be our floor that the ink's going to be splattering on. Super cool. And then we're also going to go up to Layer, New, Solid, and make a black one say okay and it's gonna be the comp size that looks wonderful let's go ahead and turn on the transparency there too all right then we're gonna grab our vertex tool and with three clicks of the button just the pen tool there we go we're gonna make a triangle And that's gonna be our drop. And then actually still with the pen tool selected, if we hover over these and press option, it'll give us this. And we're gonna make these two angled. And uh, now we can make our raindrop really amazing. Boom, there we have it, raindrop. Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red, cause I bought red eye solution stuff so I don't get irritated or upset at all. Alright, um, now let's go ahead and make both of these a 3D layer, and we're going to press W on our keyboard, and that's going to allow us to rotate these. Uh, we're going to have our floor layer selected, and we want to make sure we're on the X axis. And we're going to start rotating that. And when you start to rotate it, press the Shift key, and that's going to let you kind of lock it into place. And we're going to make it so that we can't even see it. It's kind of parallel to our camera right now. Remember, we're in 3D world. And then if we press B, that's going to bring our selection tool back, and we can move down on the Z space. We're gonna make this floor kind of parallel to the bottom of our comp. Right there looks pretty darn good. We've got our floor made, and let's go ahead and rename this drop, because that's gonna be our drop, like make the beat drop. And we're gonna make sure we're on the Y axis, and we're gonna go all the way up out of frame. And we're gonna press P to bring up our position, set our first keyframe. We're going to move forward about a second. And once again on the Y axis, we're going to just drop it down past the floor. Sweet. So now we've got something that looks like this. And it goes through the floor. Beautiful. It's a uh, it's amazing. I feel like that was a real raindrop or a ink drop or something. Uh, we can set the motion blur as well and that'll give us a little bit of motion blurring. It'll uh, really push that realism of something falling. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our ink splots. And if you didn't know how to make these, there's a uh, ink tutorial on uh, how to do an ink intro and you learn how to make these so go there check it out 
and uh, you'll get learned on that. But for right now, we're just going to bring it in, and we're going to go up to Effect, and go down to Color Correction, Hue Saturation, and we're going to check off Colorize, and bring down the lightness all the way, negative 100. 100. You can make it whatever color you want, really. If you want it to be like a red splotch or whatever, you can do that. I'm, you know, just being simple and doing black. So, turn on the 3D layer for that ink as well, and press W on your keyboard to bring up the rotation. And we're gonna do the same thing here on the X axis. We're gonna hold down Shift and bring it parallel to the camera, and then press V, and we can push this down onto our floor. Now what you're going to do is, as you're bringing it down, go kind of slow once it's nearing the ground, and you're going to let it go just through that plane, and then bring it up, and as soon as you see it pop back through, you're going to stop. It's, uh, have fun. Alright, so we've got our ink layer set. Let's go ahead and kind of get this lined up for the drop. So it looks like our drop is going to hit right about there. So now if I select the ink layer, I can move this or with my time indicator where I want it, if I hit the left bracket on my keyboard, that'll just shift that over for me. And that'll go wherever my time indicator is. And that's moving that whole piece. It's not cutting it. So there's a Another command to cut, but we'll learn that at a later date. So use the bracket key and that'll bring that over. And now we kind of get it so that right when it hits, we got that whole splat there, which is just fantastic. So where do we go from here? Well, we're gonna create a mask around our ink layer. So let's get right at the beginning of it and select our ink layer. We're gonna take the 3D mask off and let's kind of position ourselves differently and zoom in a little bit. And we're gonna grab our ellipse tool and just go ahead and do a circle around there. Probably make it a little bit bigger. And if you do a shift option, that'll keep it as a circle. So keep it more circular than elliptical. And let's go ahead and move this so that it's a little more on that center. And then let's make this a little jaggedy or blobular by grabbing the add vertex tool. And we'll add some vertices. And as I click, I'm gonna just keep holding and stretch it out and just kinda make this look whatever. Oh look, he looks like, it's like a crown or something, I don't know. Yeah, and just uh, you know, play it out a little bit. See what you uh, can do. It's not like you're taking a test, you're not getting graded. Actually, I'm going to come over and critique it personally. So, then if we uh, go ahead and select that ink layer, press MM, that'll bring up our mask options. And uh, we want to make sure we're at the very beginning of that, and we're going to select our mask exp expansion, mask expansion, mask expansion, mask expansion. That's kind of a tongue twister. Um, and we're going to bring it down until we cannot see our ink anymore. Then we're going to go ahead and move forward in time until our ink drop goes all the way through. Probably about there. And we'll just crank that right on up until you can see it all. I want to see it all. So that looks, uh, looks like we got all the spots in there. So let's... Uh, Let's uh, see how that looks. Scrub through it, it hits, and boom. That's fairly fancy. Almost there, guys. So now we just need to put our ink layer back into 3D space. Clickety-clack. And let's zoom in just a little bit. I'm gonna have to reposition it, so if we press W on the keyboard, that'll bring up our rotation tool. And remember to hold down shift. Boom, that'll lock our ink splot right onto there. It looks fancy. And 
we can zoom back out. I'm just gonna watch this go to town. Sweet, so let's go ahead and play back. I mean, are we watching something in real life? Did I film this? Jeez, golly, gold star for the day. So um, yeah, we just made an ink spot. You can uh, also go up to layer, new, camera. Remember we're working at 3D space, so I'm just gonna use a 50 millimeter setting. And uh, we can you know, add in a camera movement. Let's go ahead and press P with the camera selected. And I'm gonna go with the orbit camera tool. And set our first point. Oops, let's uh, move that over and go to the beginning of our timeline. And we can kind of do like a rotate like that. Move forward and rotate that way. And, and now we have a highly complex animation where uh, we see an ink splatter. So, you know, you can probably get a job working on the uh, new Transformers movie. I'm just telling you you can do this effect. So, awesome. Well, guys, that wraps up the ink splot. Hope you enjoyed it. Figure out some cool, new, interesting ways to use this and uh, come back at us. Let us know what you did with it in the comments, please. We would love to know. Otherwise, hit subscribe over to the right there. We love it when you do that, too. You can stay up to date with all our awesome new tutorials that we're putting out for you. And check out videofort.com. That place has awesome stock footage and aerial footage that you can use for all sorts of high quality productions. And it'll really take you to the next step. It's award winning footage. Award winning. All right, that's uh, it. Remember to have a great day or not. The choice is yours. All right, later guys.